What's up, guys? Welcome to your Daily Dose, Joseph. I'm your host, Joseph Chase Mantena, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, ran into some scary new monsters, um, ran to a fairy tale that involves the heroine dying in the end and not defeating the monster because she tried to defeat him with words and he just was not having it. Oh, it's over there. Well, good for me that the door's locked. I don't want to go in there. Okay, no, he's around this corner. Okay! It's unlocked. Where does it go to? Okay, the other side of this. Okay, not bad. There he is. Okay, Heather, you're dumb. You're dumb. Okay, put him in. Oh, where did you come from? I came from over there. How could you have been there? I refuse. You're full of it. You're full of crap. You just, you're new. You spawned there. The darkness said he's not there. Put something else over there. Ah, ah, ah. Not today, Satan. Ah, ah, ah. Not going in the darkness. Unlike Goku. Goku's like, darkness? Where I gotta go? Don't come at me like that. The way he just, like, cringes up. Am I out of ammo? I think I'm out of ammo. I'm about to be very upset with myself. Yep, I'm out of ammo. Back to the katana, I guess. Can you get the way? Just in case. Okay, this is a little safer. All that money. Get money. Money on my mother effing silver coin. Oh, wait. She had something to say. I missed it. Whatever. Maybe it was funny. Standard. No, forget about it. Ah, dang it. Come on. I want to read her commentary. I want to know that she's a real person. I want to know that she's not just walking around going, La -da 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 -da. This is okay. Silent Hill's fine. What's with the poem on the wall? I assume it's a poem. There's something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet fate hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? I mean, we'll find out, won't we? It's just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling candid drink. Come to think of it, I'm kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. Yeah, same. Let's go ahead and uh, see what happens. Size of a quarter. Feels really old. A drink for a quarter? Dang, 80s, you feeling good? What? What? Huh? I couldn't read that. What did it say? Life insurance key. Interesting. I mean, at least she did it. Let me reread the poem and see if it makes a little more sense now. Or the poem, whatever that was. This one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now a number in a book. Sounds kind of like life insurance and lawyers. Yet fate hath no price. But do people know this? Fate hath no price. So that sounds like something about life insurance because fate is death. It's always death. So this looks like a door would be there. Okay, buddy. Okay, it's getting him now. It's working. Yeah, get that boy. F him up. F him up. So this can work. This isn't impossible. It just puts me at risk that the guns don't, but I need to save bullets because F this game. That's why. Don't run away from me when I'm swinging at you. Yeah, get it. Okay, or, or I'll get it. I know that you can do a certain thing to make her jump back to her feet, but I seriously don't know how. And it takes me off. You better not actually kill me or I'll scream. Just because I'm saving ammo doesn't mean I deserve to die. Be dead. He's done. Is there any more? No? Okay. I have a life insurance key. Let me see where that can take me. Looks like I didn't try around in any of that room. The monster? I destroyed the picture. 
and then it took me down a level. So I doubt that I can get to six, but I guess we're gonna find out because I don't quite know what I'm doing now. I just got out of that room, so I'm gonna go back and I guess, I guess go to the elevator or what's that on the right? We'll find out. Oh no, I know what that is. Take me up tonight. Okay, so I'm on five? That's where I am, right? Sure. I guess I was on three, four, seven. Where am I now? Okay, so that's floor one. There is something locked on floor one. There's two things. Oh, that's life insurance. Okay, so yeah, we're going to the first floor. We're going down. Enough of that. Enough of that. Okay, so there's a locked door back here. Now it'll take me to the life insurance wing or something like that. There we go. Going this way, because this is where the monsters aren't, clearly. <clears throat> okay, never mind. Head straight for the monsters. Sup, buddy? Wait, do the strong attack. Yeah, do the strong attack. Do the strong attack. Keep going. Keep going. What if I just hold the button? Will she just keep going? I'm gonna try it. Oh, yeah. So I don't have to keep clicking. She's gonna... Okay, now your turn. Just keep stepping closer. Keep stepping. Yeah, you down. Oh, this is easy. This is nothing, bro. Get wrecked. Get smushed on, scrub. I figured it out. I figured out combat. Just hold the button down until you win. It's great. Okay. I guess I'm done fighting them. I was really waiting for something dramatic to happen. Just by the design of the, the turn in the hallway. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Ew, it's a meat bag. A bunch of junk block in my way. How rude. You can totally get through that, or over it, or either, or both, or neither. She took neither. Okay. Why am I here? Okay, there's papers. The end of the fairy tale, okay. So now we'll learn how to kill him. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool! You wish to die again? No. This time, it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears don't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Let me see if there's anything to be done with this combination of letters. Tu fui ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus, the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Save those words, Heather. Just keep them there. Tu fui ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> the monster did not like that. Said, girl, what you think you're doing? What you think it is? Okay, let me get, let me get. Is there anything else? No, nothing else to be had. Definitely don't sit down in here. Also, the sound of the floor is mushy and I don't like that. So, tui fui ergo, ego fueris? Fueris, fuego, what the F is that? What's on the floor? She's looking at it. Oh, okay, this is where I was supposed to be. That, is there anything else to be explored over there? No, not really. This is fine. Wait, wait, where's the monster? Is this the area where the monster's supposed Oh, it is where the monster's supposed to be. Hey, he's gone. <laughs> nice, wait. Oh, that's just the old fairy tale. Oh! 
Am I just outside the hilltop center? So that's the name of this building. I never knew that. Don't just be okay with this. Don't just be okay that you came out of there and now you're at the hilltop center. It's a sign for a cafe. Oh, that's the one I was just in. Hootie. What's on the floor? My apartment is the other way. Okay. Dancing stuff. And I cannot center the camera. Nope, never mind, I can. This is scary. It's so big. There's cars. Can I take a car? I want to steal a car. I'm going to take this car and ride it all the way home. I swear to God. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like... Oh, please, officer, help me! I don't like this. I don't like diverging paths. What's back here? I don't want to know. But I'm going anyways. Let's make some bad life choices. Let's make some horrible life choices. I don't have a map of this area. Not even a little bit. Not even a mental map of the place that you effing live in. God. What is that? A poop shoot? It's got a padlock on it. Oh, Daisy Miller Apartments! This is my home! This is my home! Ah, get me inside! No, I'm not just going to take me up. Just a dust shoot. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> just an alternative word for trash, I guess. That's not my place. What is your place? Is it 302? I hope it's 302. I swear to God. Not my place. Not my place. Uh, not my place. Oh, it's a safe spot. What's this doing here? This really ticks me off. It's like having someone spit on your sacred place. Looking at that makes my head hurt. What does it mean? It means you're safe for a change. Okay, let me get out of this. And is this door? But this is my place. Why should I leave the apartment? Okay, yeah, so let's not leave. That's an exit. And I don't need to use the elevator. My apartment is number 102 on the ground floor. Okay, so where is that? This is just stairs, I'm sure. Her apartment is 102, 102. There it is. Let's see what's past the apartment. Just make sure we don't miss anything. 101, that's not my place. That's not my place. That's not my place. But this is my place. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to enter my place. Blah!